Hi, welcome back to Millennium Workshop. Today I just pre-ordered the Bamboo Lab H2S and I am super excited for it. Um, this is the printer that I was hoping for before the H2D came out. Um, the dual nozzle is really cool, but for me, not practical. The fact that you have to use two rolls of filament and the nozzles do not reach both sides of the build plate. So you're limited to the build volume and you have to be running two rolls of filament. So with this, you can use one roll of filament, you can maximize the entire build plate. So I'm really excited for it. So today I ordered it, it's gonna be here in five days. So let's just hope we don't have another K2 problem like the, with the Creality K2 Plus, you know, if you watched my unboxing review on that, it just fell apart. Um, I was not too happy with that. It was devastating because it was the big printer that I've been wanting and just had to wait. So we're going to get into this. And when it happens, it's going to be fun. And I hope you're excited about this as much as I am. But in the comments, before it all starts, the unboxing and my thoughts on the printer, I want you to drop down in the comments on what the first print's going to be. Is it going to be a test print? Is it going to be a regular print? You tell me. So let's do this. All right, so I'm super jacked. We got the Bamboo Lab H2S. We're gonna do an unboxing and this is gonna be fun. So we're gonna get into this. One awesome thing about bamboo printers are they come so well organized. Now getting this box into the house, it was a journey um, to get it through my messy garage because I have just stuff that I'm working on kind of all over the place. It's not the most heaviest printer in the world but it's a very awkward heavy box like there's not really any good places to grab it it has handles but those handles really served zero purpose on making it easier to carry now on this printer the very top part that I'm taking off is actually the top glass they you know, wrap that up, box that up in cardboard just so nothing can happen to it, which I respect that thoroughly. Now you're going to see me kind of just struggle just a little bit because, I mean, it's just an awkward heavy. I mean, it just, I mean, it's definitely heavier than the P1S's. Um, I mean, it's just, it's, it's great. Uh, the build quality just feels amazing. Um, they pre wrap the doors so that you don't have to worry about them breaking while you know in shipment which i really like that now this h2s um i purchased the first round of releases so it comes with the ams which i've never had an ams before um, I always thought they were kind of pointless because um, I don't print in multicolor, but I do think that bigger printer, bigger prints, um, I don't want to have to be changing out filament all the time. So I'm just going to load it up with, you know, four rolls of black filament or gray filament, depending on what I'm into or what's readily available at the time. And we're just going to go that route. Um, so then I don't even have to worry about, you know, running out of filament ever. Now the AMS is bolted in, so you have to remove four screws in the front and then the top bracket that's actually holding it in, 
once that all comes off, it's just going to basically just lift right out. And don't forget to remove all your cardboard. Um, there, it's kind of everywhere, cardboard and foam. Um, make sure to get rid of all that. Um, there are going to be screws that are actually holding in your guide rods. Make sure you take those out, otherwise you're not going to have a too happy time printing. All right, so we have our last bracket that is um, the big last bracket that's holding the bed down. Um, and then the back middle, there is another bracket that we're going to be taking off. Um, but once you get these done, I mean, we're going to be ready to start printing something. Here you're gonna see me struggle a little bit. I honestly thought I got the right screw completely unscrewed, but realized I didn't, so I had to go back and continue unscrewing that. Now this is my first AMS. Um, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more complicated um, because I've never used one before. So really all you honestly have to do is just take the plastic off, the foam, and that's about it. I mean, it's just going to plug into the back of the printer and you start going. After I installed the glass, I put the AMS on top. And then in the right hand side over here you can see my daughter was checking in on me to see how setting up the new printer was going to be and all the things that she wants me to make her. Um, and she was actually talking about making a you know like a two or three foot Laboo So if you guys want to see me make one of those and actually do some fur on it and stuff like that let me know. Um, we can do <laughs> We can do just about anything on the channel so that would be a fun one. Now at this point I was a little confused on why this cable is so long, but then I realized like not everyone puts their AMS unit on top of their printer, like it gives you the ability to put it next to the printer or on a shelf or anything like that, which makes sense, I respect that. Um, I wish there was an option for a shorter cable or if it came with a shorter cable just so um, I mean, if you're going to have it on top of the printer, you really don't need it to be that long. But no big deal. Let's get it powered on. And we're going to start running through some, you know, software updating and the first initial calibration. The new touchscreen that they put on the H2S and the H2D, um, it's awesome. Um, I wish those were on the P1Ss. Um, I do have the Panda Touch, which I do really like my Panda Touch, but I mean, it, it just how thin this is, and I mean, it's 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 a nice screen. I was really happy with that. Now there is some more foam that is underneath the build plate that you cannot pull out until you start doing you know your your tests on the printer so like when you're starting to run your diagnostics or your calibration whatever you want to call it um, this took about 15 to 20 minutes 
to do the initial because it's doing a silent motor adjustment, which is really cool. Um, this printer is actually probably one of the quietest printers that I've ever owned. And I thought my P1Ss were pretty quiet compared to my Creality um, um, CR10 Smart Pro that I used to run. Those were loud. This thing is so quiet, I actually almost forget that it's even on at times now. All right, now this is my first time with an AMS, so I am trying to figure out how this all works. Um, so you have one, two, three, and four. They go from left to right. Um, the screen kind of tells you how they should go, and it just really just starts going. Um, it's kind of loud at first when it's you know cycling in the filament um, kind of startled me like maybe I wasn't doing it right or I didn't put it in right so but it all works out I'm just gonna start off with two rolls um, so we can get our test print going All right, so we're getting ready to do the first print part, and what did you put in the comments? What was it? What do you think? Let me know. Guess it before it happens. If you thought I was going to be doing a small print right off the bat, absolutely not. Um, had to do a Raphael helmet. It's on its works. It's almost done. And here it is. All right, so the test print is done. It turned out awesome. It took 24 hours. Um, instead of doing a Benchy like everyone else does or what comes on the printer, like, yeah, that's cool and all, but um, I found out with bamboo printers, you don't really need to do all that. You can just unbox it, plug it in, and just run with it. Now, the overall like adjustments and settings that the printer did um, right off the bat when it was calibrating, um, that took about 20 minutes, which is a lot longer than the P1S. Slicing um, in Bamboo Studio does take longer to slice than a P1S, and I don't know if that's just a software thing. Now, I ran the first print on this without even doing the software update on the printer and I kept getting notifications on the app that I needed to do the update and it printed great like I don't even need to worry about that so I mean it's just hilarious I mean just how good this turned out and I, the software wasn't even up to date <laughs> so um if that doesn't just tell you like a bamboo printer just works out of the box, like it just worked out of the box. Like I did the calibration, but no software updates. Um, now in the bamboo studio, you will need to update your bamboo studio to find this printer. You can't use the H2D printer settings for the H2S, which no big deal, but you have to update your software. Um, but once you add that printer in, you know, it's good to go. You can just switch back and forth between a P1S, P1P, A1, whichever one you have, as long as it's a bamboo printer. Um, you can do other printers as well. Um, but overall, I, I love the printer. It printed awesome. And I hope you guys like this video. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know. Um, also, uh, drop down in the comments what you would like to see next. Um, or do you like more how to build videos, do you just want to have maybe more lives where I just to kind of talk about 3D printing or, you know, you just tell me, let me know what you guys want to see um, on the channel um, so we can just, you know, have some fun. Um, 
I guess I'll just catch you guys on the next one. See ya.